Oh, hey, what are you guys doing? Uh, oh, I'm vlogging today. Uh, um. Welcome back. I'm still Will Powers. I'm still in Guatemala. That's still a volcano. And this was my best attempt at uh, coming up with the beginning of a video. I thought it'd be really cool if I could take a vlog and just give some future racers some lessons that I've learned on the field so far. So that's what this video is going to be. So here's lesson number one. Be prepared to be around people. Always. Even in the midst of vlogging, you're still around people. If you'll see what I'm talking about here. Something you're probably going to have to do what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Something you're probably gonna have to do on your world race is live in community living. It's really hard to get used to at first, but once you do, it's actually a really awesome experience. You have so many friends around you at one time, and you're all just living together, learning from each other, and it's a really cool experience. There are a couple lessons inside living in community. One of those lessons being my friend Tom here. Just as an example, uh, when you take a shower, you should close the curtains. Isn't that right, Tom? Yeah, yeah, you should close the curtains and I don't know, maybe you like to shower with the curtains open. I certainly have had some pleasure with it. However, it reveals parts of you that you don't, doesn't need to be revealed all the time. And some people might see things that don't need to be seen, you know? You heard it here. Lesson number two. Ministry won't be what you think it will be always. You're going to have to learn to be very flexible with your team, with your squad, and with your host inside the countries because things are going to change and they're not going to go the way you think they're going to go. For instance, my friend Tom here, when you go on a run with your uh, ministry host, don't ever go off by yourself. Isn't that right, Tom? That, that is right, Will. Um, I know some people personally. Individually, I know myself, <laughs> who have gone off by themselves and have gotten lost uh, for three, four hours. And uh, yeah, 10 out of 10, do it again, but don't do it. Lesson number three. Don't be afraid to have team time in a way that you bond with your team well. My team tried to just sit in a room and have a conversation about what's going on in our lives. And I mean, yeah, we grew through that, but it was so much more profitable to go out and just do stuff as a team. And it was a lot of fun. Last night was probably one of my best nights in Guatemala so far. We went to a sports bar and we watched the Steelers versus Charger game as a team. It was just a really awesome experience. So we actually had a bit of an adventure last night. Uh, on the way home, we got in this thing called tuk-tuks. And there's these little like three-wheel cars that you take like a taxi. And our tuk-tuk drivers, we had to take two of them, got into a race on the ride home back to our house. So yeah, just do team time in a way that fits you and your team. It'll be a lot more profitable and it'll be a lot, lot more fun. For my fourth and final lesson, I'm gonna put Thomas Dean on the spot once again to give this lesson. For the fourth and final lesson, I'm gonna bring my friend Caden Springsteen in on this one. Without a shirt. As I was saying, the fourth and final lesson, we're gonna talk about maximizing shirtless minutes. If you're in a house with 20, 30 people, and the majority of them happen to be girls. You don't get this moment too often, so when you get that moment, take care of it and just just use it. Shirtless minutes, they're important. As a, as a man, if you're being honest with yourself, you, uh, you're supposed to walk around places with your shirt off. It's in the Bible somewhere, yeah. I believe. Um, First Thessalonians? God created man naked. He did. Okay, that's in, that's in, uh, that's in First Revelation. Revelation. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Are you? How'd you get accepted? Did you read the Bible before? Have you, you ever gone to church? Church before? Ben. And for lesson number six, <laughs> I'm bringing in my friend Will Powers. Doing adventurous things on the race. Let's talk about getting a, a house pet. Wookie. For lesson number seven, I'm going to talk to you guys about facial hair on the race and how important it is. So I'm going to bring in my friend Caden to talk a little more about that. Like you can't actually, you cannot actually be a world racer if if you're a guy and you don't grow your beard out. In fact, if you shave your beard on the race, like... Taylor, come on over. If what? you, like, if you shave, if you shave your beard on the race, it, 
it's like a party foul. Isn't uh, that right, Taylor? I shaved this morning. Why? Because uh, it was just gross looking. I don't know how he got accepted. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. For the record, uh, Thomas Dean and <coughs> Kaya Augustine actually have a bet going on right now. Um, if Thomas can grow his mustache out for an entire nine months, Hashtag. Kaya will actually get dreads. That's Kaya. So to finish out this vlog today, I decided that I'm going to do something a little bit new. I'm going to do what's called a future world racer spotlight. So this week, I'm spotlighting a girl named Alyssa Hammett. She's from Lincoln, Nebraska, my hometown, and she's going on a gap year route next year. I'm going to put a link in the description to her blog, so if you feel like you need to donate to someone or if you're just looking for a cause, um, feel free to look at her and uh, perhaps support her. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Uh, please don't forget to push the little thumbs up button underneath the box I'm speaking from as always. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, follow my blog and my Instagram. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see your faces later. Bye bye.